Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we're gonna be answering a question. What is a concrete class in Java? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy the content we are putting out, please hit that like button below. Make sure to subscribe and share with all your friends. This video is part of a Java core fundamental playlist, so make sure to check that out if you enjoy this video and want to continue to build your Java development skills. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the content. What is a concrete class? So this is one of those interview type questions that I see a lot of people get asked and they never really have like a concise answer, but they have some idea of how to answer it. So I want to explain what a concrete class is and how that is different from interfaces and abstract classes. So a concrete class is a class that we can create an instance of using the new keyword. So in other words, it has full implementation of its blueprint. So let's look at some code so we can get an idea of this. So I'm a big car fan, so let's create a car class. And in our car class, let's have two methods here, uh, honk and drive. And this is everything we need. So because all of its methods are implemented, we can call it a concrete class and we can instantiate it. Car, car equals new car. So some examples of concrete classes from the JDK are hash map, hash set, array list, and linked list. Now let's talk about abstraction versus concrete classes. Not all Java types implement all their methods. So this flexibility is also known as abstraction. So it allows us to think in a more general way about the domain we're trying to model. So in Java, we can achieve abstraction using interfaces and abstract classes. So to understand that, let's show what an interface is and then an abstract class next. So you might be asking, what is an interface? So in Java development, an interface is a blueprint for a class. So in other words, it's a collection of unimplemented methods and signatures. So going back to our car example, we're gonna create an interface called drivable. In this interface, it's gonna have two methods, the honk and drive method we had from earlier. Note that it uses the interface keyword instead of the class keyword in this code example. And because drivable has unimplemented methods, we can't instantiate it with the new keyword. But concrete class, like car, can implement these methods. So in the real world, when you're working with interfaces, the most popular ones you're gonna be working with are map, list, and set but they pretty much provide you a way to call certain methods that aren't necessarily exposed to you from maybe a class or a custom class you're working with off the bat. Now, an abstract class is a class that has unimplemented methods, though it can actually have both, and that's what really makes it different than an interface. So let's go back and look at a code example. So here we are using a, we're creating a vehicle class but we're gonna put the keyword abstract before class. And then we're also gonna put the keyword abstract before hunk. But you're also gonna notice in this class, which is different than the interface, we're gonna throw in the drive method, which actually has an implementation to return a string. So note that we mark abstract classes with the keyword abstract. And again, since vehicle has unimplemented methods like hunk, we won't be able to use the new keyword. So some examples of abstract classes from the JDK are abstract map and abstract list. However, in contrast, concrete classes don't have any unimplemented methods. So whether the implementations are inherited or not, so long as the method has implementation, the class is concrete. That is really the big differentiator. Concrete classes can be as simple as our Carl example from earlier, but they can also implement interfaces and extend abstract classes. So let's think of a new let's think of a new class. Let's call it Fancy Car, and it's going to extend the vehicle class and it's going to implement the drivable interface. The Fancy Car class provides an implementation for Honk and it inherits the implementation of drive from vehicle. As such, it has no unimplemented methods, therefore we can create a fancy car class instance with the new keyword, which makes fancy car a concrete class. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. In summary, we pretty much learned the difference in concrete class compared to interface and abstraction. The key thing is if you can't use a new keyword, it's most likely not concrete. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Again, follow us below. Check us out on peopleintech.io and stay tuned for more content. Peace.